let's look at our next activity. Within our 850 EDI, business information is presented in repeating sets containing the same segments and elements. Our warehouse tracking system requires this information be sent to the database fields. Therefore, our integration goals are as follows. We need to integrate unique codes for the department, vendor, and promotion sections which define the repeating REF segments. So how do we do this without leveraging a custom script? Well, the answer, of course, is the EDI identifier instance. Incorporate the unique date and time for our shipment and cancellation due dates. And finally, as I demonstrated with our N1 example, integrate a unique address for the ship to and the build to information. I'm going to demonstrate exercise number six to add the EDI identifier instances and exercise number seven to map the EDI identifier instances and test the process. This begins in your book on page 20 and it goes up to page 29. I am in my 850 EDI to database map. I'm going to click on the Walgut's 850 profile. I'm now looking at my profile. One of the things that we are going to be doing is adding identifier instances. One of the places we're going to be adding identifier instances is in our REF01. We'll be setting up qualifiers. But before we set up those qualifiers, let's open our spec. Right, let's take a look at our spec and see what the qualifiers are for REF01. The spec right now we're looking at the first page. You can scroll through. It has 16 pages, so all of this is data. We're going to go to the REF, which is the reference identification. And down here we have the REF01. This is segment 128. It has three qualifying codes. They are DP, which is the department number, IA, which is the, which is the internal, vendor number, and PD, which is the promotion or deal number. We're going to be using all three of those. So I'm going to minimize. And now I'm going to enter in those qualifiers. So my first qualifier is going to be IA. My second qualifier is going to be DP. So I have IA, DP, and my final qualifier is going to be PD. I'm going to click on the Save button. So the next place I want to go to, according to our instructions, is we want to create our identifier instance for the REF segment. The way that we do this is we come up to the actual segment, we click the drop down, and we select identifier instance. An identifier instance we can select by occurrence. This could be the first or the last one or the second or third that we can also identify by qualifier. So I can just expand this and I can select the IA qualifier. And what this would do is this would give me, if I read it, it would be the last occurrence of the IA qualifier. So what I'm doing is I'm really, really narrowing this down. Now I don't want to do this, so I'm going to delete it. But what I will do now is I will set this up for what we want. And the way I delete it is I just come in and I say delete identifier instance. I could also edit it. If I edit it, all I would do is just come over here, take it off, and voila, I have my first one, which is REF01 equals IA. I go do my second one. We're going to do one for each. DP. And then finally, our last one which is going to be PD. Here we have our three identifier instances. Notice that it is a little bit different looking than a regular segment. The actual block here is uh, gray as opposed to green. And notice that we have our REF01 equal and then whatever our qualifier is going to be. So the next one we're going to go to is the DT segment. DT01 has qualifiers. So I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to do a, I'm going to go down to the DT qualifier. I'm going to click on find. I'm just going to type in DTM. 
takes me to the date time reference. If you notice, takes me to the date time reference. If you notice the date time reference, there is DTM01. There is a qualifier. This is a date time qualifier. The first one is ship not before, which is 037. And 038 is ship no later. So we're going to come into our program under DT1, DTM1. We're going to add a qualifier. The first one is going to be 037, which will be our ship not before. And the second one will be 038, which is our ship no later. We're going to save this. And as we did with our REF segment, we're going to come up here. We're going to add the identifier instance. We're just going to do it by qualifier. We'll do identifier 37. And then we'll come back over here and do it again. And this time we'll do 38. So now we have qualifiers for each of them. Our final one is going to be the N1 loop. And this is a little bit more difficult because this is a group of segments that we're actually going to need to repeat together. You're going to see down here that there is an N101. This is the entity identifier code. It has two values. One is called BY, which is the buying party, which is the purchaser. And the other one is ST, which is the ship to party. So we are going to go into our N1 loop. And we're going to expand it all the way so we go to N101. And we're going to add our qualifiers. The first one is going to be BY for our buying party. And the second one is going to be ST for our ship to party. We'll add those. We'll save those. Now we will come up all the way up to our N1 loop because we want to loop everything. So we're going to come up here and we're going to add the identifier instance. We're going to identify by qualifier and the first one we'll do is BY for the buying party. And the second will be the ST for the ship to party. Now that we've created all this, we're going to move into our next activity. This is exercise number seven we are going to map the EDI identifier instances and then we're going to test them. So I'm going to save and close because I'm going to go back to my map. Come over here and map my fields. We're going to map the EDI identifier instance and then we're going to test the process. This is in your book on exercise number seven. We list the fields in exercise number seven. You have the option of using Boomi Suggest. If you use Boomi Suggest, you will come through and it will list what you're going to need. Um, I am going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to map it by hand. I want to be comfortable with what I have. I'm going to map REF01, where the reference identifier is equal to DP, and then this is my department. I'm going to map it to my department field. We're going to take the REF02 field. I want to close this up. I'm now going to do the IA, which is the REF02, and I'm going to map this to the vendor ID. I'm going to map the REF, where the segment ID, REF01, where the segment ID equals P. D, and I'm going to take the REF02 field, and that's going to go to the miscellaneous one field. I have all mapped all my REF segments. I'm now going to come down to my DT segments. I'm going to map DTM, DTM01, where it's equal to 37. I'm going to take the DTM02 field, and I'm going to map that to the due date. I'm also going to go down to 38, where it's equal to 38, and I'm going to take the DTM02 field, and I'm going to map that up to our cancel date. The next groups deal with the N1 segment, and we're going to be looking at the BY first, 
and then we're going to come down and we're going to look at the ST. In BY, we're going to expand N101. We're going to be looking for N101, where the BY equals N102, and we're going to be working in the build to. So I'm just going to bring this up. This is going to be equal to the build to name. And then I have 104 is going to go to the ID. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go down to N3, and N301 is going to be equal to the address one. N302 is going to be equal to address two. We can close this up. Now I'll go down to the N4. N401 is going to be equal to the city. N402 is going to the state. N403 is going to the zip. These are all build to. We can close that. Now we're going down to the ship to information. And 102 for ST is going to go to the ship to name. Just down here, I'm going to bring this up a little bit more so they're all listed. Uh, N104 is going to go to the ship to ID. We can close this. We can now go down to the 301 where we're going to send 301 equal to the address one and 302 equal to address two. Finally, for our last grouping, we're going to go down to the, the N4 section and we're going to send N401 equal to the city, N402 equal to the state, and 403 equal to the zip. Now what we will do is we will save everything. We're going to click on Save and Close. We're going to click on OK. We'll click Save one more time. And now we're going to run it. This completed successfully. I'm still inserting my four records. The main thing that you should be viewing is that there's a lot more data going into the database. There's more data than we had before. Uh, you're going to be seeing addresses, dates going into the database, types of information are heading into the database. And that's primarily what we're looking for. We're just looking to make sure that we're loading more data into the database that we have mapped. Now it's your turn to do exercise number six to add the EDI identifier instance and exercise number seven to map the EDI identifier instance and test the process. This begins in your book on page 20 and it goes up to page 29. Once you've completed this, you have completed the create portion of our class. We're going to be moving into the explore section where we're going to be examining trading partners and acknowledgements.